Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to a fantastic 100% free pan modulator and plugin for uh, um, iOS and also for uh, Mac and Windows platform. I'm demonstrating the product inside uh, iOS as a platform and I'm going to host it as a, an AUV free instance inside AUM. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, as I said, we are inside AUM. We have two channels. We have a MIDI channel with core pads, um, which allow us to play some chords, some just a basic four. Uh, progression chords, nothing really special on that, which is linked to these electric vintage uh, nice synth instrument from Apesoft. So we have uh, now palm flow connected here, but let's listen first to what we have without the palm modulator active. Okay, perfect. Let's make it this active and let's expand uh, um, or open up the plugin. As you can see, a very nice, clean interface from uh, uh, Pan Flow. Okay, so let's play and you will hear straight away that uh, we have a pan modulation going on, which will follow this curve, which is this sign curve. And hopefully you have uh, headphones with you because I really recommend uh, to use some of those to hear uh, properly the pun effect. So let's start from the top. We have uh, the setting for the bit per minute tempo and we have also a sync, a sync to the host, which you can, you can disable and therefore change your bit per minute as you like. Then we have the selection of preset here. You click on it and you go to a screen which will show you the presets that you create. You click on the X to exit, then you can go to the previous preset with this arrow or to the next preset with this arrow. You can load a preset, you can save a preset. And then you have undo and redo as well. You have also the ability to send me the output, which is really interesting. You set the uh, channel output here, set it to on, select this CC message and then of course if you want these let me show you on this is CC message if you want these Omni okay or not and then of course it will send um, me the CC message following that uh, curve that has been established on the main application so on the main screen so let's click on MIDI out to exit again and this is the curve uh, which I was referring to okay and let me demonstrate that uh, uh, straight away so let's for example create an audio channel let's uh, load something like um why not red um strike let's connect that to um um palm flow like so okay then uh, let's set palm flow to send our midi messages cc why not let's scroll down to um 30 like so um omni that's fine um, for now, let's click uh, um, like so. Let's click play now. Let's go to Red Strike. Let's mute this for now. Let's open Red Strike here. Let's go on MIDI Learn. Let's go to the cutoff here. And you can see now that um, the cutoff is being modulated up and down according to the curvature, which is uh, established inside plan flow here which is the sine curve okay so hopefully that explain how to use midi um output okay you can clear the mapping of course if you need to do um so sorry i was in midi learn mode and you can deactivate it like so okay perfect next we have a, a midi learn option as well okay which uh, is really nice in terms of uh, um, giving you the options to map uh, um, your controls inside the palm flow. You have also settings here, which allows you to set, for example, um, all CCs um, for different activities that you can control within palm flow. So you can say when you run the global dice, you do that through CC one, okay? Which then allows you to control palm flow from an external controller. Okay, so, and then we have the I here, as in uh, oops information which will give you access to the manual the videos etc etc okay 
click on the screen to exit. Okay, so you have a bunch of controls here in the middle, and then you have also this uh, section of the screen where you can establish the, um, the curve that you want uh, to influence your left and right channel. We move uh, between the different channel. At the bottom here, you have a preset. So when you establish one pre one curvature that you like, you click on the preset and you will establish a new preset. You see here the name, quick preset, and it will be assigned to this slot, slot number one. And indeed, if you click up here on the preset, you see the name here, which you can also change, and the slot which has been associated. And of course, you can delete uh, the preset as well. Now, if you click on the reset button, you delete that uh, curve, and it's very easy to add new points, like so. Okay, and you can click and drag and drop, sorry, click and drag. Okay, so it's very easy to create a new curvature. And then, of course, click play. Oops, and let's uh, unmute this. Okay, let's go back to Palm Flow. Okay, perfect. Now, up here, you have a control for speed. This set the length in terms of... Uh, the bar here horizontally, so you can uh, uh, make that double, it will go slower. Of course, you can half the, that uh, um, bar in terms of length, and therefore the speed will increase. Okay, perfect, let's set that back to one. You can change the grid here, and at the moment it is by 16th, you can say let's go by 8th or by 1 4th, etc, etc, as you prefer. And that is useful because you can then snap to grid. So when you move points, for example, you can snap them to grid like so, of course, if the snap is on. Or you can disable it and then, of course, you have a finer control. Of course, if you re-enable snap to grid, um, you have to reposition the point and near uh, the grid line to snap, they will not snap automatically, okay? And if you find that uh, also um, from one point to, to the to the next is too sharp, you can set this control here to set the smoothness in terms of transition, okay? Next, you have uh, um, three controls for complexity. You have a dice here, a global dice here, so a button which you click and it will randomize the curvature. And it will randomize the curvature based on a simple randomization or simple complexity, medium complexity, or high complexity. And you can see when it's a high complexity, you have uh, many more points, okay? Next, uh, here you have free selection in terms of how you want the curvature to look like. The, the, the default one is by curvature, like so. You can have it straight line, like so, or you can have it by steps, like so. And these, you hear it better because there is a, in terms of pump between the different channels because it, it moves sharply between one value to the other. Let's try. Okay, next here you have the infinity control. So if you activate that every time it finishes to go through a measure, it will randomize automatically. Perfect. Of course, you can also say change the here yeah, the measurement you can say two so it means that it will play the uh, measure twice before it randomizes okay so that's up to you you use these arrow left and right to change that below you have a bypass you have a bypass by latch for the effect or you also have a temporary bypass so you hold and as you hold as you keep holding that button it will bypass the module and of course as you let go it will not bypass the module anymore let's try Okay, below here you have uh, uh, your dry wet effect, which can be useful in terms of making subtle changes to the pan. Okay, then uh, <clears throat> here you have uh, a, a lock button. If you click on it, then you can establish a number of points which are locked, which means that when you press the random button, they will not change. And of course, when you finish, you uh, click on the lock button to exit that mode. And if, if you, you want to reset the points which have been locked to be unlocked, you click here on the reset icon. Next, you have three icons here, which uh, gives you some standard waveforms. So a sign, square, and a so as well. Okay, next here on the left-hand side, you have a threshold. So you can establish at which point the 
pun effect will kick in based on going over this threshold. Okay. And then on the right hand side here, you can establish um, effectively limit up and down as well. Okay. Uh, the interesting part in, on using this control, this limiter, is that if you have something like a curvature like that, look look what happens. You just crop the values as you move down, the same as you move up here. Okay. Of course, if you don't want to crop the values, but you want to move up and down or left to right channel, just click this button here. And then as you move here, clicking in the middle, you can see, um, and, and also up here, you see, you don't crop any value. Of course, disable that. And of course, you can readjust the values. And also, you can drag from the center like this. But remember, it will crop the value, the values if this option is not active. You have also some standard here um, uh, level in terms of clicking 100, 75, 80, etc., which may be useful in terms of quick changes. And also, lastly, you can also set them a, a boundaries really horizontally in terms of steps so you can say play only between this step to this step okay and if you click on the middle here and you drag you can move that across the waveform that you have created okay so that in a shell is uh, in a nutshell, is an overview of how Pound Flow works. It's really nice and is completely free. So thank you very much, Audio Molin. Okay, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.